Hey gang, welcome back to Inverted Pursuits Laboratory. This week, we're continuing with Project Praetor. I know it has been several months since I posted an update with this. Um, it just took a long time to get some things going, um, and certain parts just weren't working out as well as I'd hoped. So, this is our revisit of the electronics bay. As you'll remember previously, I'd been doing a 3D printed bulkhead on either end. Um, I also previously mentioned that we are going to be moving away from that. So I've got fiberglass bulkheads now. Um, I went ahead and kept the strapping and the big eye bolts I intended to use. I've also got an entire fiberglass sled that I still plan to use. And I've already made my opposing sled. Um, this is the bay itself. And it's got this printed ring, which I still need to do a fiberglass quick layup on. But we've got two holes. Um, for turning on the switch, and then another hole for uh, my rail guide. Basically, I'm going to glue this block on the inside with this guy attached to it. So, I need to attach this to here, glue that on the inside, and that will be how my uh, rail button is held in place. So, it'll attach up here. But just to show off kind of how this all interfaces, this all slides down in here. And it's going to need a little bit of filing because that doesn't line up to save my life. But that's not overly surprising or the end of the world. So we will work on that. A little bit of sanding to get everything to fit. Uh, Drum will take care of that, but today I wanted to go ahead and uh, take a little closer look at how I plan to set up uh, the AV sled. Alright, <clears throat> so I've got the entire bay from Festus. Now I'm basically going to fly this exact same config. Um, that was the whole point of flying Festus was to set this all up for being ready to fly on Praetor. So I basically want to disassemble this bay. Um, I do have the option of putting in this uh, telemetry module for my egg timer proton. Pretty sure that's proton. Um, I'm actually gonna leave it out for now. Uh, I don't think I'm actually gonna fly telemetry feedback. I will most likely only fly a tracker. And the tracker will end up going in the nose cone, even though I've got That's the basic electronic setup for this system. 
and about as in-depth as I'm going to go into it for this video. So I've got all of my electronics here, um, and it's pretty simple. I've got the option on the opposing side to add more items if I want to, although I've got to be careful because I do have some screws starting to poke through. Um, this entire system will actually lock into the rocket. So when I slide the AV or the um, coupler over, I've got these three whole three uh, T nuts around, which basically will allow me to bolt the upper body to the um, AV bay to ensure it doesn't disconnect from the AV bay during flight. So I've got some big 832 bolts that I'll put through there. That's just one I've been using to keep the threads clean throughout my work. But I've got big bolts that will be holding the whole thing together. Um, I've got a little bit of sanding I need to do on this side to help ensure a proper fit. And a little bit more fiberglass work that needs to be done. but. I kind of want to just show you guys real quick where we were actually at. So this whole thing goes in here. Um, I don't know if I can actually force this to line up or not. Yeah, it looks like the whole thing needs a little bit of sanding. So I'll end up just um, taking it apart. The nice part about this is basically I'll be able to take off the bottom bulk plate and this entire assembly will come out as one assembly that I can work on together. But then I can also quickly, I need to find two nuts I'd like to have here and here to keep this from sliding up and down. But then I can undo those nuts, pull these two rods out. Plate will, bulk plate will disconnect. So the way we're actually going to go ahead and mark what needs to be sanded down is with, uh, we'll see if a pencil will show up first. Probably need a Sharpie to do it right. Although the pencil seems to be marking well enough our problem areas. So we're just a little bit off round with these and then basically I can just pop that right off and then the black mark I've got here around on this half uh, I just need to take it out to belt sander and sand it down real quick. But that's the basics of our updated electronics bay after the previous video I'd made showing you guys this. Um, again I'll kind of just show this part off the actual coupler band here. Um, has three holes evenly spaced 60 degrees apart, um, 60, no, 120 degrees apart. Um, two perfectly are designed to perfectly line up with my screw switches. The other one is where my um, rail button will reside. And so we'll be working on that. And then in the next video, um, I will show you guys. Uh, the full assembly of that, but I wanted to give you guys a quick update on Prater and where I've been at. Some of these prints have taken a little while to get going, and some of the parts have not wanted to work for me, so I'm on uh, like a second or third version of them. So, just kind of wanted to show you guys where we've gotten to. Thanks so much for watching, gang. If you're interested, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps out our channel a ton and helps you see more content like this. Um, Please remember that we are running a sale on our featherweight capsules through the end of the year. It was originally only a November sale. We've decided to continue it through the end of the year. So if you've been looking at our featherweight capsules, they run uh, on sale through the end of 2023. So check those out. Links in the description below. Fly safe. I'll see you all in the next video.